Hey guys, welcome back, Fast Monty's Garage. This is our continuation episode of the hydraulic clutch. Remember, we put in a uh, master cylinder already, and now we have to talk about the slave cylinder. And frankly, we need to change that terminology. It should probably be like teacher, student, or parent, kid. Oh, I like that, parent, kid. So we're gonna put the kid cylinder in today, which is attached to, which is basically a throwout bearing, hydraulically operated. And to do so, we have to make some changes. Uh, if you have a Tremec transmission, a TKO in particular, and you did not get it from Silver Sport, you have to change the front bearing cap. If you got it from Silver Sport and you ordered the hydraulic system with it, Silver Sport actually made the modification already. And I'll show you that real quickly. I'm not going to take it apart because mine is already equipped for the hydraulic throwout bearing, the kid bearing. <laughs> now, that being said, I'll show you that real quick and then we'll go under the car because we have the bell housing attached. We need to measure our distance from the bell housing to the pressure plate. We'll be right back. All right, team. So what we need to do as our first measurement is Take a measurement from our pressure plate fingers, and you can see uh, the highest point, which touches the throwout bearing, to this surface here. So I have a straight edge against my mating surface, and I can take a ruler try to maintain perpendicularity at all spots, and I'm going to hold it there. And I'm at two and five eighths. So we, we marked down that measurement and we're gonna go ahead and measure um, the throwout bearing distance from the mating surface on the transmission and do a little math. All right guys, this is that assembly I was talking about. This whole thing has to come out and be replaced from a normal Tremec TKO to one for a hydraulic clutch because it has this uh, centralizing finger. It has this ring groove for the mating surface here on the throwout bearing. Now, once we put it on, we need to check the measurement with the bearing fully collapsed against this machine surface, because this is our mating surface on the bell housing. We need to measure from here to here with the bearing fully collapsed like that. So I'm gonna take a straight edge and it takes some force so you can hold it there, and you can take your ruler, and I'm at two and three eighths. So two and three eighths is our measurement there, and we compare it to our measurement we took from the um, pressure plate, which was two and five eighths. That's a quarter of an inch, and the spec is one eighth to three eighths of an inch. So we're within spec. We don't have to change anything. If we were out of spec, say we were um, too far, we didn't have enough room, you have to order a spacer. So call Silver Sport, they'll get a spacer that, that goes in there to help with making sure you have adequate pressure on your uh, pressure plate at all times. Good to go. Now we got to put this in the bell housing with our line attached and we'll walk through that right now. All right guys, so take a couple bolts, put your bell housing on the transmission. And notice by the way, I kept my dowel pins in the bell housing. I just loosened up the fasteners and these slid right out. Perfect, because these are just locator pins. It doesn't matter if they're tight or not. So that's pretty cool. Um, anyway. Put the boot on, that nipple on the boot faces out, and then we can put our kid cylinder, is that what we're calling it now? Kid, parent, kid, I like it. And then we can put our hose in, and we want to orient it so it's going out the hole without putting excess stress on any of the subsystem. Get this threaded in and be careful not to cross thread it. 
Obviously you don't want to be waiting for a new one in the mail. So snug it up against the surface of the transmission and then you can easily tell if you're centralized through through the boot and then you can tighten it down. If you haven't guessed, we're leaving this it, with the bell housing. We're going to attach the bell housing and the throughout bearing assembled because I already tried to do it from the other side and I figured out that wasn't the best way. One, it's nearly impossible. Two, you want to get this perfect fit because you don't want anything binding or misaligned. So this is definitely the best way to do it. All right, so I'm nice and tight. I'm going to go ahead and take the bell housing off the transmission and we'll put it back on the engine. Here we go. So this is how you want it. It's kind of hanging inside the bore because I don't have my dowel pins in yet. And as you get closer, it's going to start compressing uh, that cylinder. Okay, so this is what you want to see. A fairly straight shot. So when we put the transmission in, it will line itself up on the transmission snout. So see how it's touching right here? That's okay. Because then this top, this top hole has to fit on that um, alignment rod too. So that's what I'm going with. So I'm gonna go ahead and torque it all down to factory spec, which is on this motor, uh, 40 foot pounds. All right guys, so I was working on this and I accidentally bumped it and it, it went like this. It snapped over here, that's the dog ear. That's actually okay. So it's actually safer that way because we still have a line of, line of sight to our bearing when we put the transmission in. And as we put it in, you're gonna apply some pressure on the transmission. It's actually gonna line itself up like that. See, I'm, I'm pushing on it. Oh, sorry pushed on it. So now it's lined up. So we're good So I'm gonna leave it just like that little edge on the bore Notice this where the inlet is is on the opposite side of the surface. So We're good. Be right back All right, our kid cylinders in I love that new word for hydraulic throw out bearing <laughs> This day and age man, Woo! so Anyway, the one thing left to do is actually to attach the hose, the braided hose up to the master cylinder, no problem, and we're good to go. The next step will be bleeding, but that's after we get the transmission in and I get the engine running and yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so next episode will be a fun one. We get to put the Tremec in the car, hopefully for good, and we'll go from there. So you guys know the drill. Subscribe if you haven't because you want to follow along. And until next time, build them fast, but drive them faster. See ya.